King Dom, King Dom, King Dom time. Welcome, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, this guy just the best. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you for being here again for another great time on King Dom Corn. Yeah. <laughs> right now, in my hand, I have got the child. Apparently, this guy came out. He was released before he got his actual name. That's how old this bad boy I'm is. I'm gonna be unboxing a whole lot of Grogu. What better way to kind of commemorate Mandalorian season three signing by just going Grogu oversaturated ham. Then at the end of my Grogu series, I'm going to put each one of these guys together. And then I'm going to do a comparison review as to which one of the countless amount of Grogu, the one that you just got to get if you can only have one. I mean, who wants 18 Grogu's in the house because that's how many they are releasing of these bad boys. Is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be you? Stay tuned, guys. Let's go. It is a miracle to be here today. Welcome back. This is Kingdom Corn. Listen guys, if you have not recognized, it is like giveaway week out of my video. I'm sorry, not week, but giveaway video week. That means I guess like five videos or so. However long it's gonna go on. Kingdom is lit and it is not by me. It is by all you guys out there, all the cool kingdomers. And it is much appreciated. But back again to this giveaway thing. Guys, if you have not already subscribed, I want you guys to be a part of my giveaway. You guys can win it too, even if you just now subscribe. So I don't know what you're waiting for. It's real out here. Now it is Grogu time. Let's get with these no. cool reviews. <laughs> so this right here, guys. Of course, you know this is the child. This is Grogu. This is a earlier version. I'm not sure the year it came out exactly, but you may notice this is the animatronic version of Grogu. This guy is not just stationary. He's not like a plush doll. This guy, he has got these cool rubber ears. He does actually come with a necklace that you will see Grogu wearing. I don't know where that is. I've had this guy for quite some time now, but it's only my first time putting this on camera and featuring this guy on Kingdom Corn, but you are here today. Ain't that such a great thing, Grogu? Yeah, he loves to be on Kingdom Corn. <laughs> I can tell you this might be one of the cutest freaking dolls that I've ever actually held and owned. I don't own many dolls, of course, but as for the ones that I do have, I can tell you anybody that you put this in their hand, they will immediately have a Mandalorian reaction. What I mean by that is this guy's supposed to be a bounty hunter. He's supposed to be a tough guy, but this guy abandoned his whole mission once he laid eyes on this little tiny baby Yoda. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, Goo. I'm gonna get this guy all up in the camera so that you guys can get a taste of all his cute goodness. Check out the movement of those ears. This thing has got many different parts, a lot of points of articulation. That is a very nice thing. I kind of may consider him as one of the top Grogu's, if not the best, but that is for another video. As of now, this guy has got a cool fabric, and I believe that it may, yeah, this thing actually comes off now there is plastic as you can see on his actual body if you were to remove this whole thing i'm not going to remove this whole thing today i don't have any reason to don't want to mess it up but he has a plastic body right there now i'm going to go ahead and go over some of the motions and movements to this guy keep in mind one cool excellent feature to this animatronic toy is that it has sensors so that if i pick him up he knows it 
if I lay him down, he absolutely knows it. See there, getting all snuggled up. This guy is at peace with himself. My crazy crap does not affect him getting his good night's rest. <laughs> okay, now check this out. See there? He is now fully awake simply by changing the motion, changing how I have him positioned. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yep, I know it. <laughs> now, another way to use this Grogu is you simply rub the top of his head and that will wake him up. One thing I'm not sure of actually is if you do rub his head, I don't know if the way that you rub it actually determines what he does. That's a mystery, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little rub down, rub, a rubbing head demo, and let you guys see all the different core cool motions that this bad boy can do. <laughs> He is using that force power. You guys better watch out behind that camera. Y'all don't know about that Jedi energy. Yeah, so... That is the gist of this cool doll. I hate to call it a doll because it makes me seem like kind of girly out here. Hey, it's all good though. I mean, shoot, I'll take that. You can criticize me all day. Yeah, that's right. We ain't gonna worry about them. <laughs> now, nah, I know you guys are cool. He has got these little feet down there. All of this is total plastic, very hard. The feet do not actually move he does not walk around and everything under his garments is hard plastic on the back is his on and off switch and right here as you can see is the humongous speaker taking up half of this guy's body i would say maybe like most of his body is a giant speaker it would be cool if you could hook this up to bluetooth and like get to rocking on this thing go grogu go grogu go grogu yeah <laughs> that was fun, right? <laughs> yeah, cool. I want you guys to go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of my Grogu video. The kingdom is always lit thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. right. Here we go. I'm going to actually, since this thing is kind of complicated apparently, I have the remote control on my hands and I will tell you, there are so many colors, so many different buttons. I really don't know where to start. I mean, do y'all see any labels on any of these buttons? I mean, gee, that's how we gonna do. <laughs> but it is all good and well, because I have this manual. And on top of that, we are gonna look at the back of the box for an idea of the features. So let's check that out right quick. According to the box, this guy has got a follow mode. I suppose follow mode means that he's going to follow you around everywhere that he goes. He has got a sensor on the back of his head. So apparently that sensor will allow him to actually track you, follow you around. It could be some kind of gadget inside his eyes. Whoa, <laughs> look at those big suspicious eyes. Nothing but spy equipment up in there. <laughs> in curious mode, I suppose he wanders around the room. He'll bump into stuff. I don't know how the sensor can detect walls, if he can do that or not. But of course, you will find out later on this video. I got high hopes for this thing. <laughs> he also has a hide and seek mode. That I'm not too sure about. I'm gonna have to actually check this out for myself. And it says that he has got sounds, of course, and a joystick. That would be 
basic remote control function just like a car and this guy looks like he can get around <laughs> cool so see if you guys can remember this that way if you guys can remember and i don't we can still know what these buttons are going to do now the red button is supposed to be curious mode the orange button is head movement Cool, let me, uh, <laughs> cool. The purple button is force movement. Cool. Now, even though these are way too many buttons, I do definitely like just how customizable, like every button does a move. You don't have to press one button and wait for him to go through a whole sequence of events to get to the move that you want him to do. Purple button, you got an automatic force movement. Orange button, you got automatic sound effects. I mean, I'm sorry, head movement. <laughs> Hide and seek, follow, curious mode, and sound. You guys got that? <laughs> now, without further ado, first I'm going to kind of go over him in the physical aspect. He is a pretty sizable Grogu compared to a lot of them. And I did a recent review on the Wild Riding Goku. I would say that guy is significantly smaller than this guy right here. I like that he's bigger, but sometimes bigger means that they put less quality into the detail because they were going for size, therefore they kind of just cut corners on as far as how much detail that they actually put on, on this guy. But I like that he has this rubber skin. I was just telling my friends, that it would be cool if action figures and things like that had actual skin over it. That way to give it a more better feel to it. I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, let me know if you agree that plastic action figures would be better if they actually had some skin. I mean, I can't be the only one, but this guy has skin. He has a layer of actual skin. It doesn't look too plasticky. It almost looks like he's more of a lifelike figure. It's rubbery, and I totally dig that. Now, let's see if these ears can actually move in a way that the skin functions with the actual robotics under that. Now, do you guys remember which button is good for the head movement? It is the orange button. Thank you, guys. Ooh, I was so lost. Orange. Appreciate that, guys. <laughs> we have got that cool head movement. Come on here, Grogu. Come, come to your Mandalorian poppy. That sounds kind of weird, but uh... <laughs> I'm not so good at these motions. <laughs> now I love how when he walks, he has got that wobble to his step. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Okay, okay, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> now I'm going to do hide and seek mode. Apparently, according to the manual, hide and seek mode is you press the button, wait for 10 seconds, and then this Grogu is supposedly supposed to go and find you and seek you out. Wow, are you kidding me? Well, we're gonna see if that thing actually works. <laughs> okay, my bad. That is the blue button. Blue button, hide and seek mode, let's go. sensors to, to detect walls but he's right here looking for me uh, he found me guys yellow button follow me mode
<laughs> He's coming. Now we've done hide and seek, he found me. We've done follow me mode, and this guy definitely tracks this guy down. Only one left, curious mode, let's go. He's got no collision detection whatsoever. Just doing anything. <laughs> that is so neat, y'all. Now get over here. You're bumping into all types of stuff. <laughs> I have to say, I might be an easily impress, impressionable person, but it could just be me, or I had a little bit too much fun with this Grogu. I can tell you, whatever Grogu, whatever iteration they make of this cool alien Star Wars guy, it's always something really nice to have. It's a nice companion, and especially, like I always say, if you're lonely like me, <laughs> it is always a pretty excellent companion. The fact that this guy follows you around, it's like he's very interactive. How can you deny these Grogu action figures? I might be weak, but I mean, what can you do? The guy is just so freaking adorable. <laughs> now, as for the actual specs and review on the actual physical and functional aspect of this figure, I did of course have a little bit of problems. Imagine just how great this guy would actually be had he had collision detection. I mean, for him to have so many cool functions, hide and go seek, follow you around, you would think if they had such crazy dynamic features that they would include some type of collision detection. If this guy sees a wall, this guy's gonna walk right into it. Even after he hits the wall, he just keeps trying to go for that same wall. He has no type of intelligence, no AI that makes any sense in there. They would have really just thought about that and included that, that really would have, that simple thing, that really would have just took this guy all the way over the edge for me, this guy would have been an A plus. But the fact that you have to go and manually adjust him, move him out the way, like a natural child, I suppose, does that make it more realistic? I don't know. I really just enjoyed this Grogu. Like, again, once again, he is a very good companion. He makes cool sounds. The way he walks, he has actual, like, a little wobble, and it gives it more of a realistic feel. He's not just rolling straight like most action figures. They could have had just done it like that, but I love the little details, and it really looks like a little guy following you around, a guy you can interact with. That hide and seek mode, that was so cool. You guys may have seen that guy headed straight for me. I don't know how he knew where I was. I was all the way in a different room, and this guy was like, uh, Kingdom Corn, I'm coming, you know? <laughs> So if you guys like this Grogu, I am feeling generous as I said as all my other reviews. On that note, let me know the kingdom is lit in the comments and then you'll also be entered to get this guy. I appreciate you guys, that is for being great and awesome supporters. I got 500 subscribers, I started from like nothing, I had a hard time but you guys made this thing all the way yeah. worthwhile. <laughs> Grogu, say bye to the people. Uh. I guess I'll take that. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>